hello friends uh, hi everyone and uh, hope you are doing well so today we are going to study another topic of electronics and physics i can say uh, that is energy band theory in solids so uh, energy band theory is something that is necessary to be un understood before getting deep into electronics uh, before studying different diodes so it's like a necessary part like before making a sentence you have to study what is a word what is alphabet so it's like that so coming to energy band theory in solids we can say that in a single isolated atom the electrons in each orbit have different energy associated with it but in cases of solids all the atoms are close to each other that is in solids uh, the atoms are tightly packed so the energy levels of outermost orbit electrons are affected by neighboring atoms if the inner orbit electrons are trying to move or trying to vibrate due to some outer power so the outermost orbit will have some some vibrations or some uh, some uh, disturbance in them so this is like that when two single or isolated atoms are brought close to each other then the outermost electrons of two atoms uh, are interacted or are shared with each other that is we can say that electrons in outermost orbit of one atom experiences an attractive force from the nearest or neighboring atomic nucleus due to these the energies of electrons will not be in same level the energy level of electrons are changed to a value which is higher or lower than that of their original energy level of the electron the electron in same orbit exhibits different energy levels if there are in an outermost orbit there are four electrons so every electron will have different energy levels it is not necessary that every electron will have same energy level or two electrons maybe one is uh, one uh, electron is having very high energy second is having a little lower and third one is having very less energy so it's like that so uh, the electrons in same orbit exhibit different energy levels uh, however we can say that energy levels of inner orbit electrons are not much affected by the presence of neighboring atoms uh, the important energy bands in solids are uh, there are three types of uh, bands energy bands in solids and those are very important because the uh, Um, uh, various phenomena, various phenomena, and various behaviors of the solid depend on these energy uh, bands. So the three uh, energy bands are valence band, conduction band, and forbidden band or forbidden gap. It's also known as. So first we'll come to valence band, the energy band which is formed by grouping the range of energy levels of the valence electrons or outermost orbit electrons is called as valence band. I I will again explain if the energy band which is formed by grouping the range of energy levels of valence electrons or outermost orbit electrons is called as valence band valence band is also present is present below the conduction band as shown in the figure or i can say that electrons in valence band have lower energy level than the conduction band if um, i want to elaborate what is valence band so i can say um, that valence band electrons has lower energy level and the conduction energy band has higher energy level electrons uh, we'll make a difference uh, we'll study difference about it uh, by looking into diagram that we are having a conduction band conduction energy band uh, is upper 
is on the top of top in the graph whereas the valence energy band is at the lower margin of the graph so it's like the valence energy band has lower energy electrons whereas the conduction energy band has higher energy electrons now coming back to conduction band energy we can say that the energy band which is formed by grouping of uh, by grouping the range of energy levels of free electrons is called as conduction band generally the conduction band is empty but when external energy is applied the electrons in valence band jumps into the conduction bands and become free electrons look as i said that valence band is at um, valence energy band is at lower uh, lower um, axis in a graph so the uh, electrons in valence and energy band will have lower energy and as an external energy is applied these lower energy electrons gain uh, their energy increases and these uh, electrons jump into conduction band by becoming free electrons next uh, the conduction band electrons are not bound to the nucleus of atom there that is why they are called as free electrons next coming to the middle point it's like forbidden gap or forbidden band the energy gap which is present between valence band and conduction band by these two energy bands is called as forbidden band or forbidden energy gap in solids electrons uh, cannot stay in forbidden gap because there is no allowed energy stay in this region i mean to say that there is no energy in forbidden gap it is just a medium to travel from valence energy band to conduction energy band i can say in solids forbidden gap is the major factor for determining the electrical conductivity of a solid plus i i can say that forbidden gap is used to determine whether the solid is conductor semiconductor or insulator by this forbidden gap we can analyze which type of electrical conductivity the solid possess the classification of materials uh, is uh, done on the basis of forbidden energy gap the so the uh, classification of materials is like insulators conductors and semiconductors this uh, as i said this mainly depends upon forbidden energy gap now uh, in another video we'll study uh, the different energy bands energy uh, different energy graphs uh, of insulator semiconductor and conductor so keep watching my videos and please like share and subscribe to my video channel thank you